Hello, and welcome to this, I guess you could say, emergency episode or emergency oh, yeah. video of it's the an emergency. Where We Roam podcast. <laughs> yeah. So as you can tell, it's only Sean and myself, and the ladies are actually all traveling right now. So uh, what we Wouldn't wanted to know? do... I know, right? So Disney had some big news that came out this week, and there are a lot of questions that we've been getting about the new Lightning Lane system that's replacing Genie Plus and individual Lightning Lanes. And so... We we're actually fortunate. We have a friend, a close friend that works on the team at Disney that is rolling out this um, new system. So mm -hmm. without giving too much away who they are, we they've clarified some of the most frequently asked questions. So we're going to hopefully bring some clarity in the next three to five minutes and hit each of these questions that we've come up with that we've been seeing come up to hopefully help you better plan for July 24th when this system goes live. So that being said, the first question is, what is the difference between what Disney is now calling Lightning Lane Multipass and Lightning mm -hmm. Lane Single Pass? Sean, do you want to take a stab at that? Yeah, so Lightning Lane, we'll, just, we'll break it down into the easiest concept. Lightning Lane Single Pass yeah. is basically the top tier rides. It is the exact same as what individual Lightning Lane was in the past. So we're talking Tron, we're talking Seven Dwarfs, Mine Train. Guardians Rise of the Galaxy, Fly to Rise of the Resistance, Flight of Passage. Those top tier rides are, it's just a name change. That's truly it's all it is. It's still an individual to, purchase. It's an individual purchase. And there's there's basically, you have this option to purchase, or you have this option to, to jump into the standby queue. Um, if or it's the available. virtual queue. Or the virtual queue. On two rides. On Tron yes. and on Guardians. Uh, Guardians. For those LLSP rides, the yeah. single, what, what single pass rides? Single, I'm, I'm going to figure this all out eventually. Lightning lane, single they, pass They do rides. have virtual queues instead of a standby queue. So just to yeah. give you a heads up. Yeah. All right. And then so what about the LLMP multi pass? Yeah, multi pass is replacing Genie Plus. Um, it is going to be the exact same rides that Genie Plus was. So there's not a huge change in that. There's not a change at all in that. But the added benefit to this, while it is still a paid system, they are making it so that you can pre-plan up to seven days in advance when staying on property and up to three days in advance when staying off property. The nice thing about this is you get to plan for all of your park days, assuming you're under, under 10 days you know, of, of a so trip. You just skip to our next are. question, Sean. You just skip to our next question. Okay. The next, the next question is, when can I purchase my Lightning Lane Multipass? So Lightning Lane Mobile Pass is Genie Plus. It's a mm -hmm. hybrid of Genie Plus and FastPass Plus. The old system we all had, you make three selections in advance, right? Yeah. So you, it is seven days before check-in if you're an on-site guest at seven in the morning. And if you are off-site or a non-Disney like Disney park guests or sorry resort guests it is three days at, ahead of time at 7 a.m i think this per personally i think this is the best benefit that they have given on-site guests in a long time 7 a.m seven days before your check-in for the length of your stay if you are right. off-site it's three days right um next up next question can i purchase my lightning lane single pass at the same time as my lightning lane multi-pass which this is this is great yeah the answer, answer is yes. Yes. yes yeah and the the best part of this when i was talking to my contact at disney is that they confirmed that once you make that lightning lane single pass selection and put it right. in your cart it holds your time that's a big deal. So, so that way, once you make that selection and select that time, and then you're going through your multi-pass selections and getting all that Which will added, take a little bit longer, right? It'll lock all that in. So as for those of you who have tried making these selections currently at 7 a.m. in the morning, you know how quickly some of them can yeah, go. And, and you have to do, it's one after the other. You can't do them at the same time, but they right. come available at the same time. So it's like, a, it's a race. It's a, it's a big deal every single day of your vacation at present right um which now kind of so that's the good news is you can purchase mm -hmm. them all at the same time or like you can purchase lightning link single pass and multi-pass at the same time now the bad news the next question <laughs> can i purchase all days of my lightning lane multi-pass and lightning link single passes in one transaction no 
you can only purchase a single day of multi-pass and single pass on a single transaction. So that means, say you have a four-day park ticket that you want to each day purchase multi-pass for or single passes for, mm -hmm. for every single day, you're going to have a different transaction, which means you're going to have to be strategizing, okay, which one do I want to make first? Do I want to make sure that I get Slinky Dog in my multi-pass? Maybe that's the first one that I'm going to be booking and then, you know, in the morning and then work my way backwards, you know, from there to yeah. the, to the parks that I think are going to be the easiest to secure those things. So Animal I Kingdom. think this is the, the hardest thing is that this is going to end up being laborious and there's gonna be a lot of strategy to try to figure that out. Some people could have up to like seven, eight, nine, ten purchases if they're doing like a 10 day ticket. Yeah. It could be yeah. a lot. Yeah. And, and, and each day is going to be a different purchase, which I was chatting with John earlier. Granted, if you were able to do it all together, are those people with, you know, five, six day tickets? Man, that's gonna be that's gonna be an expensive thing if you go all out and you line up multi pass for each day and single pass. That's gonna be a chunk of change right there. Whereas right now Disney, I think you, yeah. I think Disney got smart. Like, hey, let's just break this up. Let's make it one extra step per day, but let's break it up so they don't see this massive total at the yeah. end. Next question: Can I do any of the selections or purchases at midnight the night before? So I've, we've had a lot of people asking us. So can I line any of this up at midnight? Like before I could with Genie Plus, I could, could purchase, purchase Genie Plus it. at midnight and then at right. 7 a.m. I'd make my selections. No, sadly, all of this will be available to book at seven in the morning. And as we mentioned before, it's super important. You have a strategy that you've got this planned out, which park you're going to do on what day and then like which park, you know, you're going to, so which park are you going to do each day? And then which park are you going to make your reservations for first, your yeah. selections for first? And I, I think this makes sense because Genie Plus had the ability or the option to actually sell out, which it doesn't sound like this does. It's just going to be we an availability know. thing to, to my, yeah. I'm guessing here. But the reason that some people would stay up until midnight and why Genie Plus became available at midnight was that it was a limited quantity that Disney was distributing to its park guests each right. day. So getting it, you know, right when it came available, some people th saw that as a priority. I'm yeah. not sure that's going to be the case. And I think that's why they're putting the actual purchase at the exact same time that you can line things up. Right. Next question. Oh, this is a really, really good one that I got um, clarification on. Will the system recognize split stays? So my contact had to actually reach out to somebody else to verify this. And they're telling us, yes, that the, the, um, the development team is saying that split stays will be recognized by the system as of right now as a contiguous day, as long as your checkout day from your first reservation and your check-in day for your second reservation are on the same day. So you're checking okay. out of your of, of hotel one and checking into hotel two on the same day. As long as that's the case, there's no gaps, you'll be able to purchase your entire stays lightning lane selections it would be nice if they do the same thing at for dining same. at some point because that's where that trickiness is on a split stay is with the dining right. it's so, two different time frames so they're saying that now fingers so, crossed you know that that's what that the, the the folks on the back end are saying we will see what happens on the 24th yeah. all right next this is a question a lot of people are confused about this can i stack my lightning lane mobile pass selections uh, by waiting two hours after making that fourth selection like I could with Genie Plus. Like, can you start stacking stuff in the afternoon? No, there is no stacking beyond your initial three um, multi-pass selections. That being said, unlike the old FastPass Plus system, for those of us who remember it, you do not need to wait until all of your selections are used to make your fourth selection. You like must this. only use your first selection to open up that fourth selection option. So that means then it'll be rolling after that. You can always have three in the queue. Yep. is essentially how that works. I and that is a I think it's huge great. improvement over the old FastPass system. Yeah. So because before there was a whole nother strategies, okay, I need to go through all of my fast pass selections by 2 p.m., you know, in order to make my next ones for the afternoon. So yeah. that was back in the day. So the fact I that think it's this is rolling a good every single time you tap into that next ride is a yeah. really nice feature. Now, you know, it, it's all subject to availability. Some of those popular rides will not be available to line up via lightning lane, and therefore you're just going to be at the mercy of the standby queue. But right. being able to continually take make those new reservations is nice. 
I agree. All right. Last one, last question, frequently asked question, and then we are going to get out of your way and let you on with your Disney planning day is will there be tiers like the old fast pass plus system so for those of us who have been around long enough remember the old fast pass plus you had tier one and tier two rides tier one rides um are for example are going to be so in magic kingdom tier one rides would be space mountain big thunder mountain tiana's bayou adventure is going to be a tier one attraction not an individual yeah. purchase not a single pass so it'll be part That's of awesome. the multi-pass yeah. selections um and you when Part of the Lightning Lane mobile pass is you can make one tier one selection and then two tier two selections. So that's not fantastic. It's that back to that one and two. The good news is, is once you tap in for your first ride, your first ride selection, and you can start making tiers, that fourth. Tiers, tiers go, away. go away for the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh selections you make throughout the day. And that's, and that's that, park wide. That's every park. Every part. Tiers well, like with that. the exception of Animal Kingdom, does not have any tiers. We should make that known. And that's a, I, I feel like that's a really good thing. The on, and the only downside with with this part of it is that some of your tier ones will be gone before you even get to the park. Yeah, by people, you know. So and, that's something to think about. I'll make mention of this. All three initial selections have to be made in the same park, even if you have a park hopper. But Correct. as soon as you scan in, as soon as you tap into that first ride, you, if you have the park hopper ticket, you can make your fourth selection at another park if you want. Absolutely. All right. Well, on that note, two things I want to say. Number one is I want to give a shout out and a thank you to the team. I should say teams that are working on the back end to get this uh, new system rolled out at Disney. And it's been a lot of work on their end to make the system work for this. So thank you for all of that. Uh, additionally, once this system is live, we will circle back and we will re-record all of our uh, park strategy episodes <laughs> because our strategies are going to change, you know, because we, we really maximize Genie Plus and individual lightning lanes on our old ones. And hopefully this makes your trip a little bit easier and you don't have to get up at 7 a.m. in the morning, every morning to I make truly, your reservations. I truly think like no one loves seeing a new change by Disney, but I think this one does have a lot of potential. Granted, it's still a paid system, but. That's yeah, just going to be the what downside. it is. It's a paid system with dynamic pricing. So we don't even know what the prices are going to be until the seven days before your trip. So yeah. we can't tell you, oh, yeah, Tuesdays, it's going to cost you $27 to get the Lightning Lane multi pass for Magic but Kingdom. We won't the know. Ability, that. The ability to pre plan and not have to do this on the fly every single morning is a huge, a huge win for Disney fans everywhere, I think. I agree. All right. On that note, we're going to let you go. If you enjoyed this episode, if it was helpful, this was way more than three to five minutes. It was 15. So <laughs> this will be a wide video format. <laughs> so if you have any questions, please reach out. We'll put this on all the channels. We'll put it on Facebook. I'll put, we'll put it on YouTube everywhere you can find us. Hopefully it helps you, you know, by answering some of your questions. All right. Have a good day and talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.